was uh, talking to Brad about Impact Wrestling got banned from Twitch. Uh, Impact Wrestling now on uh, Access TV. Right, yeah, they make the jump. Yeah, yeah, and, jump and, and I tell you, man, I, I actually got a chance to watch a little bit of it last night. And uh, very little, very, very little. Um, and it just was something that, I don't know, man, I just don't, I don't know. Those guys seem like they just seem like they're just trying to find their spot, man. It seemed like they're still trying to find a niche. And now the, uh, what do you think about the world title, the, the, the world heavyweight championship, the, the men's went the title? Yeah. Yeah, the, the title traditionally held by the top guy in the company. Yeah, now the the the, the woman, you know, Tessa Blanchett has, has the championship. What do you think about that? So I so I will say this: I haven't watched Impact Wrestling. I didn't see the storyline that built up to this. So I, I'm I'm going in it with just knowing Tessa Blanchett won the world title. Yeah, and it, it's a little odd. You know my thing. For a long time, I don't like the intergender wrestling. It's not something that I get into. I know some people like it, and that's fine. Yeah. Not something that I like. Yeah. And so for that reason, I'm not totally in love with the idea. I will say I withhold judgment, I guess, until I can see the whole segment and figure out how they got to this part in the story and what the catalyst was for her yeah, winning. Yeah, but yeah. I, but off top, it's not something I'm super upset I'm not holding my judgment on it. You know, I mean, I'm serious. I mean, uh, uh, big ups to uh, Tessa Blanchard because she's good. She's really good uh, at what she does. But this is the worst idea for that Impact Wrestling ever had in, in the history of their company. That, it, that That's really, saying something. It really is. It's really that bad. It's ba that bad. Why is it bad? It's worse than paying me 10, 10 grand for a six-hour power commercial that never aired. <laughs> It really, I'm, I'm serious. That's, so why, that's how why, ridiculous. Why it is. is it a bad idea? Because um, now the men and, and, and all of the men in the company, um, if they if they wrestle her and she beat them, it diminishes every guy in the company. I mean, who, who who's the top guy in the company now? Uh, it, I, I can't I cannot see um, you know the man Becky Lynch wrestling Samoa Joe. A uh, Brock Lesnar. I mean, right. this is the worst idea in the history of wrestling. It really is, and um, and, and to throw it out there like that is the only way it could really be thrown out. And I, it makes me question and wonder, you know, if somebody trying to, you know, blow this thing up on purpose. It's like somebody saying, "Man, let's see if we can, let's see how bad we can mess this up." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm serious. So, so, so okay, let me let me just make sure it's you're not you're saying. It's because there needs to still be separation between the divisions. It's got to be. It's yeah, always so got to be. There could be a top woman and there could be a top guy, but they shouldn't be crossing. Well, my thing is this. Okay, if Tessa Blanchard go back and wrestle the women, she should be able to beat all of them. Now, the, the woman that beat her should be able to go out and beat the men too. The crossover intergender wrestling is, is, is something that's for independent companies. Okay? If, if they want to be looked at as an indie group, Keep doing stuff like and, this. And, and shouldn't it, and shouldn't it be more? In a, if you do do it, shouldn't it be more in a almost a a, a uh, attraction perspective? Meaning, like somewhere on the card, if you're going to do a, an intergender match, but not your main event for a title. Like I said, whoever thought of the idea, you know, right. um, or came up and thought that this was a good idea, you know, and and, and, and this is changing, you know, wrestling. And and it's, I don't think this is what empowering women is. What we. we what it really was meant to be, you know what I mean? I, I really don't think so, um, because I'm not saying um, Ronda Rousey is not a tough woman, but you put Ronda Rousey in there with John Jones and, and, and watch what happened to her. You put her in there with the, the lower level men and, and watch what happened to her. Or um, Amanda Nunes with, with the top, you, you, you don't want to start playing with those and blurring those type of lines. Right. When, when it comes to performance, especially when um, a man and a woman um, these days, you know, normally when a man hit a woman, he goes to jail. OK. Um, and I don't want to I don't want to see no man trying to put their hands on my on my sisters. All right. Um, even as tough as my sisters are, I'm not finna have that and, and to actually see it play out. And, and someone think that this is a good idea for television for two, a man and a woman to be. Fighting? It's ridiculous. You think it sends the wrong message? It sends... You know what? People can look at it and say what they want to say about it, but for me, um, it's not something that I would ever have on my, my, my 
reality of wrestling. And and it, it, people can say, oh man, you know, he's he's uh, outdated. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's not that at all. I'm looking at it from, I look at um, what I do, is, that I, what I've done in this business as a performance, but I try to make it as, as realistic as possible. I've never seen a, a, a female boxer wrestle, a, I mean, fight a, a male boxer. I've never seen a female wrestler. Uh, now, in tennis, I've seen it. Um, yeah, but it's yeah. It's not a physical contact sport. Exactly, but I'm going to tell you right now, I, I would take, um, you know, um, Roger Federer, you know, um, I think over Serena Williams. I mean, I'm serious. I really would. I'm serious. Or the top, uh, uh, Novak Dokovic. Okay, let's say Novak. I take Novak over Serena Williams just because uh, the the guys. Um, he's he's that he's he's overpowering, uh, and that's what normally happens in a fight between a man and a woman. Uh, stick around. More Hall of Fame. Back in a minute.